Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, and in today's video, we're going to be doing another video for Daryl Dixon. We have a new teaser of Daryl in front of the Eiffel Tower. Alright guys, this one's going to be doing another video today. This one's going to be doing another video for The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon. And in today's video, we're going to be doing another video for the brand new teaser that we got this week for Daryl Dixon. This one features Daryl in front of the Eiffel Tower. So, um, we got a whole bunch of new teasers over the past few weeks during the airings for uh, Dead City. Yesterday was the airing of episode 5 on AMC for uh, The Walking Dead, Dead City. And every week they give us like a new clip, a new teaser for the Daryl show uh, to kind of, uh, you know, I, I guess kind of get us ready for what's to come, right, in the fall, which is, of course, the return of Daryl's show and the return of Fear the Walking Dead. Now, in terms of this teaser, um, I thought this was actually pretty cool, uh, to be honest. It's probably one of my more favorite ones from the from the teasers that they've given us. Um, I think this one's actually kind of unique looking, where basically uh, in this one you've got Daryl. He's inside of like this boat, and they're like going through like uh, underneath like a bridge or whatever and they come on out and we see Daryl is like on this boat someone's taking him somewhere and uh, he's looking at like the Eiffel Tower as they're like going by and he says that his name is Daryl Dixon and if he doesn't make it back he wants them to know that he tried so that's pretty cool right uh, so obviously we know that Daryl is separated from everybody he's on the other side of the freaking world right now um so things are kind of different for him, but um, I do find it kind of cool that that Daryl is seeing the Eiffel Tower. I just I never would have ever imagined to see that in the franchise, like ever. Um, and it's something that I didn't really know that I wanted to see until I saw it in this teaser, and I was like, that's actually pretty damn cool. I gotta say, uh, and that's uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really um, crazy sight to see, like to see Daryl in France looking at the Eiffel Tower. Like, that's just, I never would have imagined that that would have ever happened. So, uh, I mean, I kind of imagined that it would be in the show at some point, but, you know, at the same time, I wasn't sure, because, like, Dead City, for example, hasn't shown the Statue of Liberty yet. So I wasn't really sure if they were going to do this for the Daryl show, but no, it looks like they're doing it, and they're doing it in a teaser, let alone, you know, in the actual show. So that's that's pretty friggin' awesome. Um, I do like that. So, yeah, um... Pretty cool stuff. Uh, we'll have to see who's taking him wherever the hell he's going because it's kind of hard to tell. But we know that, you know, he does make friends with some people in France. We do know that the nuns find him at one point, and then he ends up with some sort of crew of people. So we'll have to see uh, who found him out there and who uh, saved his life, I would assume. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, if he doesn't make it back, he wants them to know he tried. So Daryl will definitely make it back for sure. He'll make it back, but I think we'll have a few seasons in France, uh, and then he'll find his way out somehow. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. So yeah, I like it. It's a, it's a cool little mini teaser. Um, it's a teaser that I can actually say I, I, I actually like. I, I like seeing Daryl in front of the uh, Eiffel Tower. I like seeing uh, some of the stuff that they were showing us here. Uh, again, very minor, but we are going to have our full-length trailer coming up this week. So, you know, it's uh, a lot of stuff is actually uh, coming up very soon. But uh, that is one thing that is very exciting is that this Friday, guys, we're going to be getting a full trailer for the Daryl Dixon series. Uh, I know that due to the actor and writer strike, we do have a lot of stuff going on with that right now. Um, but at least as far as I know and as from the information that I've heard, we are still getting information on the Daryl show. Um, we're probably going to get some other casting announcements, like other, you know, uh, actors that we may not have heard about already. Uh, they have announced a good amount of the actors for this show already, but there's some that we have not heard about yet. So it's going to be interesting to see, uh, you know, who else they announce for this show. Again, a lot of these are French actors. Uh, the only one that's, you know, kind of a, a major standout so far is obviously just Norman Reedus. Uh, I don't really know a lot of these other actors that are in this show. So a lot of these, you know, I'll be new to. But um, yeah, you know, it'll be really cool. And we also know that Greg Nicotero is on this show. You know what I mean? Because uh, I don't think that Greg Nicotero worked on Dead City, but I believe he is working on the Daryl show. Um, and I, I know he is because I know that he's talked about how he wanted to really do something unique with the walkers so i'll have to see what they uh, come up with with the walkers because apparently greg nicotero said that he wants to do something really really different with those uh, in the daryl show so it'll be cool to see uh you know uh what goes on with that right but 
You know, like I said, this Daryl show, I think it definitely is, uh, it's a very unique uh, take on the Walking Dead universe. Uh, visually, it is my my favorite in terms of advertising because, again, the visuals are so different. Uh, that's one thing that I will say it beats any other show really on is that the visuals are top tier. The visuals are incredible, you know, the the castles, the the overall landscape, now seeing the, uh, the Eiffel Tower. And I like the subtle kind of like, um, you know, thing that they do too where you can actually see the top of the tower has actually been kind of like all roughed up and stuff and something's happened to it so I like how they're showing that you know we are several years into the apocalypse now we are several years into uh you know the the walking dead universe to where you know Daryl yeah he goes up to it and stuff and we see the tower from the distance but the tower is very like decayed it's it's very like old looking now it's like a piece of history at this point you know what I mean um you know, and it, it's really, really cool to see Daryl kind of see that. And I, I can't believe they they did that. I mean, obviously it's CG, but I thought it looked really, really cool for the teaser. I think they made it look about as real as they they possibly could. And like I said, it really shows its time. You know, it shows how long it's been. Uh, you know that. Uh, that the apocalypse has gone on, right? Now, another thing that I'm really curious about is how long this show is going to take place after the end of the Walking Dead main show. Because at the end of the Walking Dead, they did the one-year time skip and Daryl left on his bike, right? And we know, based off the dialogue in this teaser, that he went out looking for something. Obviously, we know that he went out looking for Rick, but all he found was trouble. Now, somehow, he manages to get his way all over, the, uh, all over to France. I still don't know how that happened. And to be honest, I have a gut feeling we're not even going to find out in the first episode or like something like that I feel like the way they're going to do this and I think Norman has already kind of mentioned this a little bit is that there's a lot of mystery in this show so they're probably going to do it in a way where we as the audience are just as confused as Daryl you know like we don't know how Daryl's here either we just have to figure out what the hell we're going to do in the meantime while we're there uh it's one of those type of things um and then I'm sure as the story is going to progress, uh, we'll get an answer, right? Because we know that Carol is supposed to be showing up here very soon. Uh, probably not in like the, the most of the first season, but at least by season two, she's supposed to be in the show. So, um, you know, maybe we'll get an explanation from her. Maybe she knows how Daryl made it there. Maybe she does have some sort of like insight or something. Uh, and she tells him like, yeah, this is how you ended up here. Like I found out or whatever, and I, I came looking and then I'm here now. Uh, again, they've got a lot of explaining to do when the episodes actually kind of uh, play out but it's going to be really cool uh, to see France in the Walking Dead universe. It's going to be cool to see this new setting. It's going to be cool to see Daryl and you know him kind of struggling. And obviously, another one of the things that one of my subscribers pointed out too um, in the Dan's Review server, which I, I found kind of interesting, is that, yeah, Daryl has never left the U.S. in all of his life. He's never, ever left the U.S. in all of his life. So um, it's kind of cool that, you know, we see him out here and he's, he's you know, he's never left the U.S. He's barely even left like his hometown. Uh, and you see him out here. And he's seeing this and he's just like, what the hell? You know what I mean? But I love it because in a Daryl type of fashion, he's looking at this and he's like, okay, that's cool and all, but you know, like I want to get back home, right? And it is kind of unfortunate that he's looking for Rick and here he ends up in France. You know what I mean? So that's friendship for real right there. I'm just going to say, I mean, he was out there looking for Rick for several years out there in the woods. He takes a break. He, you know, takes care of Rick's kids. And then, um, you know, not biological, but you know, uh, RJ is, RJ definitely is not Judith, but you know, RJ is. And then then he leaves a year later he goes out there looking for Rick again and he ends up all the way in France all four looking for Rick I mean holy frig man like that is a best friend right there for real like that is a best friend so I hope Daryl if he does find Rick at some point or another tells him like look this is all the friggin' crap I did looking for you like holy crap man um absolutely insane but yeah that is a bro that's a bro for real right there so yeah love that and uh again i love seeing the eiffel tower in the walking dead universe i think it's a really really cool setting i think it's a really cool idea that they would actually show us stuff like that and i think visually it's really appealing for the show and you know again visuals in dead city are amazing as well too but i think the visuals in this show are just a little bit better because um it's more unique it's a little bit more of a unique setting and as well, the castle shots that they've given us and some of the, the overall landscapes and stuff. And, you know, with Dead City, here's the thing about it is that you get these, like, establishing shots, but then you you, you cut and it's, like, Negan and Maggie inside of a building. With this show, Daryl is really in these locations and they're really showing him in these, these spots. Um, and I think that's what's really amazing about it. So... I think they did a really good job with it. I think the set design so far has been really cool. And, again, as a setting, I mean... 
It's a very, uh, very unique looking show. Again, we'll have to see what the story is like once we actually get into the show, but we know it's coming September 10th, so it's coming up very quickly. It's not that far away now, and like I said, this uh, Friday, we're going to get a trailer for Comic-Con, so that should be a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, Daryl's show, very, very intriguing stuff. Definitely a really cool uh, teaser this week. I think they they definitely did a good job with this one and uh, giving us something new, giving us something kind of uh, cool looking, and uh, it's not weird. That's the important thing. It's not a weird teaser. I actually like this one. This one's pretty cool. So anyway, if you're new to the channel, guys, and you enjoy this video, make sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos for The Walking Dead universe. Make sure to follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead Reviews on Instagram, guys. And of course, I will see you guys really soon for more videos for The Walking Dead. Daryl Dixon. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.